Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 Ultimate Team Player Review. Today, we're going to be looking at an MLS player, a second in form, Joseph Martinez. So, he's 84 rated and plays for Atlanta, as you can see. 92 pace, 87 dribbling, 84 shooting, and 82 physical. Those are some very impressive stats, if I do say so myself. He's only five foot seven, but he's got high medium work rates. He's right footed with only three star skill moves, but he does have four star weak foot. So, you're kind of a little bit limited to the sort of squads that you can throw together to put a player like this in because of his nation and league. But there are some pretty usable players in the MLS and that is one of my first options for you today. The second is a little bit more of a mega team where I have branched off a little bit in the leagues. But of course he is still surrounded by MLS players such as Fatma Salasandrini and the new 92 rated end of an era Kaka. So moving on into the in-game stats, I was actually pleasantly surprised because... Um, this is the he's had he's well he's had an upgrade and this is also the second special item so there was there was bound to be some decent stats on basic chemistry style we are looking at 95 pace 91 dribbling that's really impressive however I feel like the pace is not an area we need to typically boost let's go for a marksman chem style boost the dribbling boost the shooting and the physical stats and well you can see we get him up to 99 positioning 94 finishing 97 shot power as well as like 87 strength and well 93 dribbling i'm pretty sure it was those are some all right stats i'm not gonna lie so getting on into the clips you're gonna see all of the goals that i was able to score with this beast and guys i think we might have found a new one of these like overpowered gems that people bring on as a substitute because uh i got on really really well with martinez he just seemed to to always be in the right place at the right time and he scored a whole bunch of goals as well uh, but he's not the perfect player you know the sort of things which I don't necessarily like about this particular item is skill moves only three star you know when we talk about these super sub players uh, I guess Lozano and also uh, Alessandrini come to mind they're both four star skillers and that definitely helps you uh, when you know when you're trying to make space and Martinez doesn't have that he does only have the three star skill moves Luckily he can still do like the heel click and you will notice in quite a few of these goals That's what gets him up to speed real quick is I do one of them get past the defender And of course they can't catch me after that uh, and, and you'll see it throughout the clips um, Long shots is another aspect of his game, which I would highly recommend you steer clear from you know just just get inside the box with this player you can see when you take a look at his in-game stats that long shots is uh, or are just just not not really good you know the, the stats are actually pretty poor in that department you're probably not going to stick many of them away but the stats which matter like shot power and finishing those of course are really high so uh, you can tell that he is a completely different player inside the box and outside the box and then passing stats sort of let me down a little bit. You know, with my with my main striker, if I'm playing like a two striker formation uh, and I want to like give and go, I noticed that a few a few times he didn't he didn't seem super composed in that area uh, and kind of like missed the return pass or whatever it was. So I didn't get many assists with him. But if I literally laid it off and then got the ball played through to him, that was when I was scoring loads of goals. Uh, and we can now move on to the positives, right? Pace, pace, pace. Obviously, the first thing you notice, this is a very quick player. Uh, both acceleration and sprint speed. Like I mentioned, doing them little sort of heel clicks gets him up to speed really well. And that is something that I would recommend that you guys do. He also possesses the combo. That acceleration... Sprint speed, ball control, dribbling, agility and balance. All of those stats are pretty much through the roof. Uh, and, you know, it works. He's only five foot seven, so the center of gravity is great as well. It means he can turn on a sixpence. Uh, up front with Giovinco in this particular team uh, was... was it's difficult because you don't expect much from them in the air uh, because they're both so tiny. But actually, Martinez has got great jumping and great aerial ability. So that's actually one of his positives. You know, you can see it. He can actually outjump some of these bigger center backs on the game and win that aerial battle, which was uh, quite surprising. His jumping, he actually has a, a massive leap on him. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then, well, he's also got good stamina. Uh, his strength was impressive as well. You know, we got it up to 87 strength in game. That means that that turns a player from someone, you know, who's small and, and you know, tricky to, to someone which 
actually can dig in a little bit and hold his ground against some of the tougher centre backs as well. So you get a little bit of everything with this guy. And inside the box, those finishes are, are deadly. I scored loads of goals. I think he's a great option for a super sub. Yeah, not the easiest player to make a team around if you don't have the likes of 92 Kaka or like special versions of Alessandrini and whatnot. But overall, I enjoyed him. I thought he was a dangerous striker. Uh, and he, I would say he's on par with someone like second in form Callum Wilson. But he's probably going to cost you a fraction of that price. So... Guys, let me know what do you think of 84-rated second in four Martinez. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.